here's an example with a two bar pattern All of the 16th note patterns that I just played dealt with even multiples of notes being played between the hands and the feet. I can use the same system to break up odd multiples, such as threes and fives or whatever, as long as they add up to 16 notes per measure. In using this system, what I have to remember is that if I end with my right hand, I pick up the next note with my left foot. If I end with my left hand, I pick up the next note with my right foot. In this next demonstration, I'm going to play a couple of fills that will superimpose groups of threes and fives over a four field. The same single stroke system that I'm using for 16th notes can be applied to 32nd notes. At tempos where I can play 16th notes on my main bass drum, I can play in between the 16th notes with my second bass drum creating 32nd note rhythms. When playing the shuffle feel, I keep time by playing quarter notes on my hi-hat. By transferring these quarter notes over to my second bass drum, I can form a double bass shuffle. My main bass drum is now playing the last note of each triplet. By transferring the quarter notes from my hi-hat to my second bass drum, I'll complete the shuffle. This is one way of playing the shuffle. It's effective at fast tempos in that I'm simply playing time with my left foot. I'm playing the same combination of right and left on every beat of the measure.
I can reverse this and play the quarter notes on my main bass drum, or I can play the shuffle using the single stroke system. By playing the shuffle within the single stroke roll, I'll shuffle with my right foot on beats one and three, and with my left foot on beats two and four. I can vary the rhythm by playing the middle note of a triplet without changing my footing. <laughs> 